Uh, hi, welcome to today's video uh, on Lightroom Mobile. Um, and today's video is going to be about taking your photos from your mobile device uh, in Lightroom Mobile, exporting the photos, and then uh, using some settings that will help you uh, organize some things a little bit, and then uploading those photos to Flickr uh, social media sharing uh, photo where uh, <laughs> social media photo sharing site. All right, so uh, here's how you export photos, which is the process of taking your photos from Lightroom with your Lightroom Mobile with your edits, the changes you've made to the photos to finish their story. And uh, from there, then you need you can export them, which will include the changes so that you can share them by uh, chat, on email, social media, and so on. So the way you do this is start in the library view and um, then you go down, navigate down to the albums, find the album that has the photos you want. In this case, it's London Day 5, and I'm going to tap on that. And that takes you to your photos, the view of the photos that are in the album. And your next step is to tap the three dots. Uh, on my screen, they're at the top. I believe on some screen, they're at the bottom. So what we want to do is tap the Select button, which is the one at the top of this list. So tap the Select button, and I'm going to select all of these. The fastest way to select all of them is to tap, or it's, uh, there's a little uh, square up next to the word and album name. So I'm going to just tap on that square, and it'll select all 15 photos. If I decide, you know, I don't want that photo, I can just singly, uh, individually, excuse me, on one photo, tap on the check mark, and that will unselect it. If I change my mind, I want to select it again, just tap it again. So our next step is to share the photos. Uh, so the options at the bottom of the screen uh, here include the option to share. That's the one I'm going to tap. And what we want to do uh, for these is export to camera roll. You can share to individual apps and such, but I like to export to camera roll and then access the app individually because this option gives me some more uh, op uh, gives me more <laughs> options of what I can do when I export. Plus it gives me more control in the individual sharing app uh, of how I want to share them. So I'm going to export to camera roll and I'm not going to tap on that directly. What I'm going to tap on are the, th uh, the two little controls on the far right hand side because that will take me to the camera, the export settings options. So here's the options I want to use. I'm going to take my file type and leave it as JPEG. That's the most common file type. Uh, the dimensions, um, by default, it comes to largest. I'm going to go to small. Uh, if I'm sharing on social media or, or by chat, I, I don't need a large image to do that. You can also enter custom dimensions. So I'm going to stick with small. The image quality, um, I, again, uh, I think the default is 80%. I usually go to 90. It's a good, it looks great, and it's not as large a file, so it'll load faster. Um, and then go to more options after you've done image quality. Uh, I don't include a watermark. Uh, the metadata is helpful uh, because it includes your camera date and time and such like that, but you can turn that off if you want. Unless, no, don't turn that off if you're in my class, though. <laughs> Leave that on. Uh, file naming. Um, this is where in Lightroom Mobile we can give the photos actual names, and I think that's very, very helpful. So uh, the default is original file name, so tap on that, and then choose custom name, and then custom text. And that custom text is going to stay with whatever your last export was. So you do need to do this each time, otherwise it'll have the same name as the last time you exported. So I'm gonna type uh, London uh, Day 5 because that was the name of the album. And then what this will do is it will uh, do London Day 5, dash 1, dash 2, all the way through dash 15. Uh, I'm not going to do any output sharpening. The color space is sRGB. That's totally fine. That's the color space of the internet. Uh, so once I'm good here, uh, what I do then is just go back. So I'm going to tap the up next to more options on the left top. There's a back pointing, a left pointing arrow. I'm going to tap on that. It takes me back to export settings, and now you tap the check mark, which is near the top right. And now these photos are exporting.
No, no, they're not. I forgot. No, they don't export yet. You think they would, but they don't. Now what you do is basically you've told, you've given instructions to Lightroom. Do this when you export. So now when I export, I need to tap on export to camera roll, just those text, that word exactly. And now, as you can see, Lightroom is now doing the export. So I'm going to tap, uh, so I'm good. So I'm going to go to my camera roll real quick, go to my photos and go to recents. And there they are, the recent photos I just exported in addition to ones that I exported a little less recently. So that's how you export uh, back to your camera roll in Lightroom Mobile. So the next step is to launch, uh, the, to upload these photos to Flickr. So we're gonna start the Flickr app. And then the next step in the upload process to Flickr is uh, at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna choose the middle icon, it's a camera. So you're going to tap on the camera, and then uh, you're going to go to the left-hand side at the bottom where it shows a preview of a picture that's on your camera roll. That'll be your most recent photo. So you're going to tap on that photo, and then it'll bring up a bunch of albums. And this confused me at first uh, because I couldn't see my photos in recents. It doesn't show your Lightroom photo, so I don't see those recent photos I just exported from Lightroom. So where you have to go is there's an album on here called Lightroom and you have to go find that, especially like me, if you have a ton of photos, it might be somewhere semi-random. So I found the Lightroom photo, uh, album, excuse me, and then I'm just gonna tap, uh, excuse me, I always do that, I gotta do a long-ish tap, or you do it, where do you tap? There we go. It looks like it's kind of a lower right corner is where you tap initially to get started. Then just tap, on each photo you want to uh, upload to Flickr. So those are the photos I wanna upload, those 15 I just had. And then I'm gonna tap on Next. And uh, I don't title these necessarily, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap Done so that it makes it easy across the bottom of the screen where it says the fo photos are public. And then there's two icons on the right. Uh, there's a map pin and a square with a, a line above it, and that's, that indicates albums. So I like to organize my uh, photos uh, everywhere I put them, <laughs> where I can, I like to organize them in albums. So we're gonna tap on the album icon. At the top of this is the option to create an album, and I'm gonna type my name in for this album, which is the same as the um, album on uh, in Lightroom. Um, sorry, I can't talk and type at the same time. There we go, London Day 5, tap Done, and, those, and then you're gonna tap Save, and then you're gonna tap near the top, the Share, top right. That will finish this process of putting, uploading the photos and organizing them in an album on Flickr. So go ahead and tap the Share and it's starting uploads, 15 uploads at the bottom of the screen, it's telling me, and away we go, and that's it. It's just that quick and easy. So that's the process of uploading photos, I mean, exporting photos from Lightroom, including your edits, so those are new photos. So you're gonna upload, uh, export those back to your, your phone, your mobile device, and then from there, you can use the Flickr app to directly upload those photos to an album so they're nice and sorted, easy to find, and all is good. So hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please send me an email or leave a, a note in the comments below. Uh, and I look forward to continuing our journey together in Lightroom Mobile. Uh, if you'd like, you can see the uh, import and basic edits video. I'll include that right now. And so I'll see you in the next video.